Okay. We will now look at how we remove the PVM housing, remove the spool, and reinstall the spool again. So for this, we need a, a couple of tools, simple tools. We need a five millimeter hexagon, um, Allen key, umbraco, um, and then a torque wrench for the same. So first we need to remove these four screws <clears throat> and then we can remove the, the PVM housing. I will, I will remove these four screws and then uh, I will pull the spool out. We will check the spool. We will check the PVM housing. I will just put this up on the side so I can remove these two in the bottom. And then uh, <clears throat> like this. Now I put it back down. And I remove the PVM housing like this. And then we just check O-rings are okay. Then we, uh, we will check the spool. I'll remove the spool gently. And we check is everything okay. Everything seems to be okay. And we can just double check the code number that's stamped in here. We can reinstall the spool again very gently. And then we can we need for installing the PVM housing. We need to make sure the the uh, hook and the uh, the spool will align. And for this, we need to make sure that this hook is in the forward position. And I'll show you now why that is. Because then we can go in, and then you can actually feel that you are in the hook and you are <clears throat> pushing it back when you push the spool in. We can then reinstall these four screws. Um, I will again put it up on the side to install the two bottom ones. And then after this, we then need to talk them down and we need to do that um, according to the specifications you see in the service manual. And that, that is it. <laughs>